What's up you guys? Welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty and thank you to all the new subscribers that are coming in and all you fans and friends out there that are messaging, commenting and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for the support of this channel. So if you're new to this channel, I do a lot of brick reviews, alternative bricks, I do Legos as well. And that brings me to one news that a lot of you have been messaging me about. Thank you for the update. But I actually knew about this kind of before, but I didn't want to say anything. But now the word is out there. If you haven't heard by now, I'm, I'm sure you have, Lepin, the counterfeit company of Lego, has actually been raided and closed down. A bunch of staff have been arrested and all the sets have been destroyed or about to be destroyed. You know, I started this channel up in 2017 and I was doing modular buildings and then I ran out of modular buildings and I wanted to find other ones that were out there in this world that were alternatives. And then I came across Lepin, but I saw like original stuff, which I thought was original. And you know, I do have a couple reviews out there. I have five reviews. I've done five reviews, okay? And thinking that they were original and some of them weren't. They were actually stolen ideas. So I kind of just stopped and but I left the videos there because you know, I worked really hard to get these videos out for you guys just to have some fun. After doing that, I found other brands with other original ideas and I was like, yeah, it's so exciting. And I wanted to reach out and let you guys know about these guys. And so my feelings for Lepin, hey man, it was bound to happen sooner or later, but they actually lasted quite a long time. And you know what's really funny is that it's been going on for a long time without a lot of people saying anything until Lego actually came out with a statement saying, there's this brand, they're called Lepin, they copied us, they put their price a lot lower, and boom, that was like free advertisement for Lepin. And it just skyrocketed. So it got to the point where it's at now, where, you know, I'm sure I feel maybe it was an inside job just because there's no way you can really stop all these companies. China is huge, man. You know, besides just bricks, there's a counterfeit of every kind of physical object you can think of. Telephones, hard drives, computers, what else? Clothing, handbags, right? Chanel, LV, look, everything's been knocked off. Why aren't those companies closing down, right? I have a feeling, my opinion, I'm just guessing, you know, Lego's a billion dollar industry. They only had to just put a little bit of percent to the Shanghai police force to capture those guys. So what's gonna happen next? I just got this gut feeling that it's gonna maybe be like maybe half a year and they're gonna rebrand themselves as something else and continue again. It's like the force guys with good, there'll always be evil, but there has to be a balance, right? So the good thing is, that's a bad interpretation. I'm trying to word this so I don't offend anybody out there. So what's next? Let's just hope Lepin has learned their lessons and in the future, if they ever do come back, they do original sets and you know everyone else goes back to buying Legos and all that good stuff. And the other good thing that's come out of this whole thing is that I hope other brands have an opportunity to show their stuff that is original. And guess what? There are tons of new stuff that you guys should go out and support as well. Some of these brands you may like and some of them, of course, you may not like. There's something for everyone in there and there's a lot. And of course, there are some that are still copying Lego. You gotta hunt them down, Lego. You're gonna go after one, you might as well go after all the other ones. But there are other brands that I think are totally fine and maybe you don't agree with me and just watch my channel. Maybe I'll grab them and review them for you guys, yeah? You guys can just watch them and see what you think. So if you have been watching my channel, you know I review tons of different alternative brands. But first of all, go check out bricklink.com. I'll put the link in the description. They have an Apple designer program. That's right, original ideas. I back projects on there already. Try to guess which ones I ordered. Anyway, maybe I shouldn't have. Now I'm spending way too much money. But that's another alternative, using Lego pieces. They have their own sets and their own designs. They got some really cool looking stuff. Congrats to those guys that made it through. It's a really cool idea. I hope any designer or any mockers out there see this video can, in, can put their entry inside and at least get some modular buildings in there. You know, I'll support you 100%. So about a month ago, there was a huge expo in Guangzhou, China, and I went with Mini Sam, who's back to work, by the way. More products coming out, I hope. Better release some new stuff, man. But anyway, we went together to check out this expo. Here's a catalog for it. And let me tell you guys, this expo was huge. If I open the page here and show you guys, this is hall one. It's absolutely massive. There's seven halls. Look at that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only got to check out two halls. That's how big it is. It's massive. And the crazy thing is, if I just go like this really fast to show you guys, these are all the brands. 70% of these are all brick related. So there is a lot of alternatives out there and they're original. And I think it's great to support that too. 
maybe you're not agreeing with me right now. But that's how I feel, man. I think it's a cool opportunity. So here are a couple of the brands that we did meet and some of them are really, really supportive. I can't wait to introduce these to you guys. But the first one is, well, we already know these guys as Juan Gay and look at their catalog. So nice, but you know, okay, they're not perfect. There's all their awards, by the way. You know, they have sets, I've reviewed most of these, but they mostly do architecture stuff and they have a bunch of new ones coming out. I've given them my suggestions and tips and you know, I hope more people will get into this and I hope their builds will get better. They're not perfect. They have pirate stuff there. They have construction technic stuff like that. You know, you're gonna have to pause this video a lot because I gotta run through this thing. Police stuff in there. Yeah, so they're at least trying to be original, I hope, one game. They actually do have Duplo style stuff. Now, I don't know if Duplo is a free range, like no copyright on the bricks. Can someone clarify that with me? If it is, I'll let them know and be like, I can't do reviews. I have one, I have one Duplo to review with Tyler. I gotta get Tyler back on here. I think I need to review this giraffe. It need, there needs to be one in here. Deer, you're gonna have to be replaced. Look, a pretty little panda. Medium sized bricks, yeah. Okay, so that's one gay, Balodi. Balodi, Balodi, Balodi. So this is from a brand called Balodi, but look at this name here. This one's called Link Go. Too close to Lego logo, man. They're coming after you next. Okay, show you some from Balodi. So these are nano blocks. These are really small. These are not Lego's compatible bricks. And I'll get to these later. I'm gonna show you guys, there's actually a few different sizes. So try not to get confused, and I'll try to clarify that with you guys. So stay tuned for those. But they have tons of little stuff in here. And this is the one I do have, the sets here. That look pretty cool, but these, again, these are really, really, really small. The shoes are original size bricks. I do have one behind me, actually. So you saw that in one video. Let me see if I can link that up here. You can watch that, you can see the shoe right there. They have tons of different colors, cool idea. Basketball jerseys. Yeah, these are small, these are nano block size there. I'm holding the book all weird, I should hold it like this. Ah, that feels much more comfortable. They do have emojis and Doraemon, also known as Ding Dong here in Hong Kong. Apparently they do have licensing to do these, but maybe it's only in China, huh? So it's not supposed to be like sold in the States, like the Oxford block stuff I do. They have tons of characters, loads of characters. It's -a me, Mario! So that is Balody, and I don't know why this is linked up to them, but somehow Link Go, that logo has got to go. So what's next? Sluban, you know I've reviewed a couple of these. These guys are actually really, really cool. They're really nice to talk to me, and I hope that we can work together and they'll send me some samples. But here's some of the 2019 stuff that is coming out. Lego announced their space sets. I'm sure you guys are seeing all the Lego new stuff that is arriving. By the way, I ordered a bunch of Lego stuff, so meh, uh, too much to build. But you know, you guys find this interesting? Let me know. They have their own aircraft carriers. I'm having nightmares about the Zingbao one that I did. Ooh, look at that. Vehicles. See, it's original. I sure hope that's not the same as the Creator Bus. Lego, they'll come after you, man. So Ben, you're next. Now this I'm really interested in. I think this is a really awesome idea. Release this fast, I will buy all of these and review them for you guys. And look, more diorama style little settings and I like the pastel colored look. It's a bit girly, there's nothing wrong with that. Girl's Dream, this is like Zingbao's Girl's Dream. Before I forget, by the way, Zingbao is totally fine. They're still available. Uh, people were saying rumors that Zingbao may be part of the Lepin brand. As far as I know, they're still functioning. They're all originals, and we'll get to that in a bit. Here, some more stuff for you. Sluban, go go through faster, faster. Some town stuff, new town stuff coming out. Some more stuff there. Pause the camera, pause the video right there. Pause, okay. Poor Mini Sam has got to put this all into inventory. He's sweating right now. Godzilla coming out, yeah. Cool. So there's Sluban, this is the second catalog. We have too much stuff to show you guys right now. Then we got this brand called Jastar. And someone told me about this brand a long time ago. We ordered some sets and I didn't realize that they actually have quite a lot in their catalog. Cool thing is they're totally supportive. They send me a bunch of samples so I can show them to you guys and see what you think. I think some of their stuff is actually pretty okay. So here is their town set. Yeah, pause that. And then they're coming out with farm sets. Seaside sets, I like that. I like that a lot. What else they got in here? Uh, they got some more little homes there. Ooh, interesting, right? All original, as far as I know. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. 
There's pages and pages of this stuff, man. Look at that. Pause, is that in focus? Maybe it's not in focus. Sorry if it's not in focus, man. I'm trying to speed through this stuff for you guys. And of course, the one thing I noticed is that so many of these brands have like military stuff, but they all look the same. You know, it's only like Sing Bell that's like slightly different. They do have mix and fire trucks, that kind of stuff, all original. Are they any good? We're gonna find out. And they also have small sets like that, kind of like H. Sanhi and the sets that I've been doing for you guys. They're sending these to me as well. That's just our for you. What's next? Panlos, man. We all know Panlos. I have no words but to say they have so much stuff, man. There's too much stuff. More tanks. More tanks. Must I do more tanks? Here's the circus stuff, Paradise. I've actually done a couple of these. They're pretty okay. They're a bit weird on the color, but hey, kudos for trying something new. Check out this tank right here. It splits open, man. They actually have a new one coming out, which is like tanks turn into mechs. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but there, there's Mr. Panlos. Hi, Mr. Panlos. Okay, what's next? Let me out these guys. Their name is in Chinese, but on the back it says Q Man. And this is actually Enlighten. They changed their name, their branding. I've done a couple of reviews, check them out. They do have a bunch of stuff coming out. They have like soccer mix. I don't know why. Football, football robots. They have a series called Cherry, which is a lot like Friends from Lego. So there is an inspiration. As far as I know, they're not copying them directly. We have some more, some more girly stuff there. Some construction stuff there. These ones are actually really cool. They're like steampunk, medieval stuff. That's actually really neat. I like that. But I got too much stuff to review, man. A lot. I see a lot of people buying this one. That's interesting. Yeah, very cool. For you modular or home fans, this may be too much of a girl thing for you, but there you go. There's more. Now we got Zing Bao. They're still around. There are rumors that people are saying they're part of Lepin but the factories are still running, so I don't know, you tell me. Interestingly enough, some of the older sets that I have reviewed that were available a few years ago are not advertised on their booklets anymore. So that must mean that they're trying to fix something that they did wrong, so is that a good thing, bad thing? Yeah, that good? Okay, it must be good. The one we are all waiting for is this one. Massive temple, look at that. Uh, there we go, more Chinatown. This is a miniature version, which I do have. I just haven't built it yet. But that's like really small, like the sets you've seen before. Very, very tiny, like that size, really small. This is an older one, mini series. Yeah, you interested in that? You want me to put it on the store? Let me know. Suzo Garden. There's a Zingbao Maritime Museum. They are still advertising that, that is still for sale. And these ones here. I've reviewed these ones already. I wish they had more. Zingbao, can you do more, please? You see me do the Colorful World. If you haven't seen the Colorful World, I did do that review. There's a new line of them here. Do you look pretty? Some mechanical fighters. Yeah, interested? No, not Transformers, not interested. This one I am interested in. The set, it's like more little dioramas, but Asian style, very nice indeed. They have some vehicles there. Look at them vehicles. Woo -wee. Any requests? Let me know. Yeah, the Castle of Laputa, this is quite popular in our store. We do sell this one. Ooh, look at that there. Warships. Those tanks, man. Those tanks. I don't trust those tanks yet. Oh no, this is the, like the nightmare page. They're still advertising it. This is the nightmare page. T92? I see ya, man. Ah, new sets. The farm town. There you go. More farm stuff there. I'm interested. I will get some of them. Police one, not so much, not me. I'll stick to Lego for those ones. Uh, here we go. These are two new themes that are coming out soon. The jungle and the firefighting theme, yeah. A lot of people are waiting for this one too. I am as well. This is the forest theme. Don't forget to press pause. Cause I gotta keep moving on. This is another car coming out, I guess. Giga, Bron Giga Bronic. That's weird. And the City Girl, by the way, the City Girl has been taken off the store because apparently this is considered old now. It's not available, but they do have a couple of new ones that are coming out. That are these ones. Yeah, pause that. A table for yourself, for your kids to build on. That's cool. And that is it for Zingbao. So this brand is called 
Kayi, K-A-Y-I, and I actually really do like some of their stuff, especially this. This is food, yes. I wanna order some of these. These actually look really good, these ones on this side. Yeah. These are standard brick sizes, but as I know, they may be copying Lego on some of their stuff. I'm not sure, I have to look into it. But look at that, yeah, they have this stuff. That is pretty cool. Their city line, I like it. What else? More here, and the Zodiac animals. Again, the military stuff, all starts to look the same. There, police, yeah, we don't wanna see those. All right, more catalogs. Okay, I'm gonna stop there for now. And you know, I wanna get your feelings on this, your comments, any questions you have for me, and maybe I'll go through some more catalogs with you guys in the next video, yeah. You know, there's tons of opportunities here. I hope these guys can come out and I hope they're original. And what can I say, man? Bye bye, Lepin. See you soon. Hopefully you're original and doing good for this world. Maybe not. All right, you guys, until next time, pick me out.